everyone, this is Yuvin, and uh, today we're going to do some After Effects tutorials. And um, I'm going to split this video up into about four sections, seeing that there's uh, four things you're going to learn today. And these aren't really, you know, complicated stuff. This is just basic things that a lot of people want to know. And uh, they're going to be how to preview your audio in uh, the After Effects, kind of, because a lot of people seem to be complaining that they can't hear their audio when they try to preview their composition. And we're going to cover that. Number two, uh, markers, which a lot of AMV editors seem to be stressed out about because they don't know how to do it. So this will help you out. Number three, masking. Obviously, you know, that's pretty basic. So, you know, just cover that quickly. And number four, rendering. A lot of people seem to have problems with rendering in uh, After Effects. I have no idea why, but we'll just cover that. Uh, first, we're going to start with audio preview. So, um, we'll just start up a new composition and uh, just comp 2, whatever. And just delete number 1. Okay, so um, just grab a random uh, piece of audio somewhere. Um, yeah, that'll do. And I just throw that in and put it in the timeline here. Just drag and drop it. And uh, I usually show the waveforms because it's better for sync. So what you're going to do is to preview the audio, uh, instead of clicking here with your regular kind of just previewing it, you click here. So here it just runs along and nothing really happens. But if you click on this one, it uh, makes a RAM preview, which is kind of, I guess you could say, renders it a little bit. And so it gives you a, a, a smooth real time preview, which so uh, stressing out over that. Uh, yeah, so we'll move on now. Now we're going to start with uh, the markers. And with the markers, that's extremely simple. All you have to do is grab this little thing over here. It says uh, Comp Marker Bin. And you just click this and just drag it anywhere you like. So wherever the audio syncs up, just drag it there. You got a marker right there. It's very simple. All right, now we're going to go with some masking. So uh, I'll just. Uh, Okay, now we're going to go with some masking. So uh, I'll just quickly grab a random picture here that's not a render because it's going to be weird to mask. And I can say this one. Okay, just uh, chuck that in. Um, right there. And uh, just stretch it out a little bit. So I can, you know, whatever. And yeah. So what you're going to do, oh, by the way, just to get this hand tool, you just Hold down spacebar and just click and drag. Just quick tip. Okay, so with masking, it's if you're familiar with Photoshop, it'll be it'll feel you know fairly simple, or familiar, or whatever. Just click on this pen tool, or as you can see, it says uh, G, and I think you can change the hotkeys, but uh, we won't go into that. So just uh, you can just scroll up. Uh, as I said, um, shift. I mean, uh, yeah, uh, spacebar to put the hand thingy. And so what you're going to do is just start cutting around as you do in Vegas. And yeah, just left click and away you go. Alright, as you can see, uh, I'm, I'm a bit too lazy to mask out the entire thing, so that should be fine. And uh, so you can see what's there. And if you want to... Um, get the others instead of if you want to say crop out just that area around here you can just um, mask right there and inverted so it cuts that out and also for just to kind of get the mask better you can just go mask feather and turn it up to whatever you want really horizontal or vertical that's whatever you like and 
uh, opacity of the mask. But I guess you don't need to worry about that right now. Uh, so hopefully you understood that. Uh, all right. Okay, now uh, we're going to work on um, rendering, which is also very simple. Uh, all you have to do is go composition. Uh, where is it? Add to render queue right here. Or you can control shift, uh, I think backdash, I, mean, I don't know. Click on that. And then this little thing down here should pop up, as you can see. And you click here. And I usually go, since I usually import into Vegas, I would prefer the best quality. So just go lossless, which you know doesn't lose any quality, kind of. Or you can you know go custom and just whatever you want. And uh, render settings best, which you know you would want, or you can change it whatever however you like. And uh, then here you click output to, and then you can just save it anywhere really. And uh, yeah, so uh, just you know just render it randomly, and it's pretty quick, so shouldn't wait too long. And then so once you so just choose where you want to save it, just click render, and as it goes. It's done there. Uh, so, hopefully, you found this these tutorials helpful, and uh, hope to see you soon. If you got any questions, requests, whatever you like, just throw them in the comment section or inbox. Uh, yeah. So remember, subscribe, share, like, you know, whatever you like. Really, just you know, help us, support us, you know. And um, yeah, thank you. Uh, thanks for watching.